this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life here, and this process video is for Spiegel Mom Scraps, and there's my discount code. I decided to do something just a little bit different, and right there is a 4x4 box that I got. Actually, it's like a little um, 4x4 book that I got from, I think, close to my heart is where it was from. I'll link everything down below, but it holds all 4x4 four four pictures or 4x4 four four, um, little pictures and things that you may want to do with it. So what I decided to do was to take two different types of sequence mixes. The two that I am using is the Nice Lit and We Are Royals, and they match well with the color selection that I used from Pretty pretty little studio I think is what it's called um, it was it's a collection like I said I'll link all of it down below because a lot of this came from my stash but it worked perfectly for the two sequence mixes and the pages that I am doing so you're going to see um, one two three four five different layouts in here four by four layouts so I thought instead of trying to do one big one for you. I wanted to show you how you can use sequence on these little ones and still be able to um, put a little book together and have sequence and kind of have some flares and that kind of stuff on it. So here I am. I put all these pictures together on a black piece of cardstock and that's what I back mine with and there they're all done. There is six pictures that you see me use but I take one off because I don't know what to do with it. That one I'll probably use on like a different uh, layout of some sort. I'll come up with something that I'll put it with because I really like how it turned out that picture, but I don't use it. So um, these pictures here are from when my husband and I went out for Valentine's Day is what I'm doing here. Um, the watch that you see that I'm working with right now, that was my um, present for I guess if you want to say for Valentine's Day, because Valentine's Day this year landed like during the week, and with my husband's schedule, there was no way that I could be able to go with him, or we could go out on that day, so we went out on a Saturday, and we went to see um, the Black Panther, and uh, went out for, it was like a dinner and a movie, and then went out for something else, I went out to Beanie's, that's what it was, and so I just wanted to document it. So this little book that I got is going to document all of our little date nights, um, things that we do. Because I used to put them all in a 12 by 12, but I thought it would be fun to do these little books with all of our date nights. And I also is thinking about doing two of these books for, excuse me, for my wedding, <coughs> excuse me, my anniversary that was over Easter this year. I thought it would be really cool to capture it that way. So that's kind of like my goal that hopefully um, whether you're watching Spiegel Mom's Scraps channel or my channel that you'll see all of this. And here I am. I'm just backing everything with papers and now I'm going to make a collection of little embellishments. And I do write on all the pages. I just do that off camera so you don't have to sit there and see. And I do have all of the 4x4 four four layouts, of the, like the 4x4 four four little things laying on a white piece of cardstock. So that when you see the still shots at the end, you will see all of them. Instead of them individually done, I did um, three on one page and then two on another just so that you can see it a little bit clearer. But as you can tell in the video here, obviously, you know that I did these individually. I just wanted to be able to get you guys through the still shots on a quickly basis. So here I am. This is how I was able to use the two sequence mixes while I was doing this layout. I just placed um, little dots everywhere just like I would if it was a 12 by 12 layout. And I do embellishments. The little words are like, out of this kit, they have really lovey, I want to call kind of like lovey-dovey words to them. So this one here is a, spe a little special gift to you. And I do use a bunch of other phrases and stuff throughout the process here. So that is number one, or one of the pages done 
I'm going to put these in order. You actually get to see four layouts and then my cover page to it. So these are all like project life papers. They're four by six, but I was able to turn all of these down to um, four by four layouts, which is perfect. So this is going to be our, like the title to this book. So when you open it up, you will see our story. And I embellish that with a bunch of hearts and I make it all nice and pretty and cute looking. And I'm just layering it up just a little bit and I go through the hearts and I place a heart behind it and I place one there and then I kind of, and then I put some sequence around and then that's all that's done to that page. It actually, that one went pretty quick. All in all, these pages I got done, I would say in like 30 minutes, but I sped these up to about four, 3.5 is what I sped this up to. So it worked out perfect. And each little spot that I put, I just put some sequence wherever I felt that it needed it to be. And I just placed different colors everywhere. And of course, make sure that you check everything down below. Um, always make sure that you go to the website if you want to look at all of the new Spiegel Mom scrap sequence and or um, the free cut files that they do have. I know I didn't use any cut files here, but there is some. Oh yeah, I did splatters too. So all the way through all of these, I get them back out and I do splatters um, too. And, uh, but make sure that you do go over to Spiegel Mom scrap. She has an amazing free cut files and also the sequence mixes, of course. And use my code of Miranda15 to save 15% off. I put some bunch of hearts on this one and get them put on. And I'm just covering up like my husband's chest on this picture because this picture is 4x4. Four four. And I just wanted to add a little bit of embellishments. And I don't get worried the fact that this is a picture and I'm placing sequins and hearts and stuff or embellishments I should say really on the picture because I feel that it'll hold up. It just took a little bit longer for the Tombow to dry but I just set it off to the side and when I checked it this morning because I did this last night and then or the night before I should say and then when I came in to put everything away this morning or the next day um, everything dried so it worked out perfect and there are the pages, and I was going to do that one, but I didn't know what to do with that because of the 4x4 picture. So here I am, I'm doing my drinks. We got to taste one of the new drinks that Augusta came out with in the last four to five years, because um, it wasn't here when we were stationed here the first time, but when we came back from Germany, they had this new drink, and it was uh, peach vodka. And you put it with um, lemonade. Lemonade? Yeah, lemonade. And it was actually a really good drink. Both my husband and I had one. It was pretty good. And then we did fish. So Josh got some fish, and I did some scallops and hush puppies and a small little steak for my drink or for my food. And Josh did like steak, steak and shrimp or something like that. He never takes pictures of his food, so. The only, if you are, when we do, do, when I do do layouts for this, my husband is number takes pictures, so you'll only see what I eat, which is okay. <laughs> and I found this little flare here, and I know that one's, I think it's the other half of a heart, because since I took and cut that half a heart down, this um, flare also had half a heart, so it worked out perfect. And I just hold it there and make sure it stays down. And ultimately, I just explained a little bit about what it is, or like what I, what the drink was about, and I just do a little bit. Um, let's see here. Oh, I'm adding XO, XO, XO on that, because I thought it, I don't, it was a really good drink. I thought it was really good. And here I am putting down sequence again. 
and I just play around with the sequence mix. I do put splatters on a lot of these pages as well. You'll see me put them on. The only one I didn't put it on is the 12 by 12, um, or not the 12 by 12, the 4 by 4 layout. And I just kind of splatter it around just to make them all nice and pretty. And here I am, I'm placing um, more layering on my pictures. And this is the last, you see, yep, this is the last um, layout that you will see me do. And I hope that you really enjoy this um, different of a layout. Tell me what you guys think. Push everything down below. If you like the channel, please make sure that you subscribe and like my video, like the video, and make sure that you subscribe to the channel to get more notifications and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye!